Oh, look, we got fucking Jeff Gordon, man. Let's see how fast you do that. Oh, yeah, fucking fly, buddy. Oh, yeah, you stop. Fucking idiots, man. Like, seriously, what's wrong with people? It's a couple old ladies, like an old dude and an old lady. How you doing? Thought you might have needed help there. You pulled off the side of the road. Were you lost or you need directions or something? Nope. Oh, okay. I saw you were following me, so I figured I'd come by and see if I knew you. Oh, I was just having to go the same way you were going. What a surprise, huh? Yeah, what a surprise. Isn't that something? It was John fucking Hoffer on the live stream in 2022 in the summer, approximately August. That was on my original channel. Okay. So first of all, this guy is a liar. All right. Targeted Patton, how are you this evening? Let me get, let me, let me slip into something sexier. I like the mustache you got going on in that one. I like the mustache, the mustache. Stop. The mustache. So he's been looking for somebody who could save him. Instead of searching inside for what they gave him. A strong will, strong mind causes mayhem. We could change the world, change times, rearrange them. Staying on pace, running the race. Life is a chase, I don't want to place. I want to be first. Work till it hurts, dehydrated thirst till I'm in a hearse. Oh. High ambitions in the right mind can take you so far. It's like you lived a few lifetimes. Take off from a break, off from the weak minds. They can stay soft. You can change lives, you create thoughts, never waste time. You got one shot, you got one life. Better pop off. What do you like? Make a dream job. No nine five, no mean boss. Just my life and free thoughts. You could try to play, but you're never gonna be me. Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy. Bloody hands hang from the people who deceive me. Bloody hands break through the chains, go free me. People like sheep move feet, hurt it easy. You don't wanna be fast asleep on this evening. Better stay tall, ready for. Fight, believe me, when they try to change, you can say no, free me. There's the burrow. Going in front of the burrow's going in front of Travis Sheen's house. What do you know? I gotta point out these little details to help people understand. Uh, what are the odds that you know that this uh, this truck was coming up right as I was coming into town, okay? But then he turned in there in front of the chief of police's house now this one down here he was sitting back there okay that's that's fine you know maybe he's just sitting there maybe he's just burning some time but why is it that whenever i come down and make the turn right he can't see me i got tinted windows but he starts moving like it's like they all start doing things like right when i get there it's it's <laughs> that's what is the things i need to point out that that people don't understand it's like um it's like because i come and i show up right that's when people now he's going to start pulling up to the stop sign because i came down and turned the corner right at that time okay i mean if he just sat there i wouldn't think anything of it who cares he's just sitting there whatever but the fact that he's on his phone and he has to pull forward right when i got to make the turn what, what are the odds of that is, is what i'm pointing out okay that's what i'm talking about here Why they need to do that unless they're doing work on that street or something. <clears throat> so you got the chief of police lives right back there. And then right up here on the left is where you have the Hastings chief of police lives right here. <laughs> okay. So both the chief of police is from these two towns live fucking a couple blocks away from each other. And he's got a red car, look at that. Fucking red car. <laughs> These people in there red, man. They love red. They fucking love red. 
It's like their theme song is uh, Blake Shelton. Red, 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 red. Send the boys down here drinking that ice cold beer. Talking about girls, talking about trucks, and I don't know the fucking words, so fuck it. Send the boys around here. What kind of plate is that? That's like some kind of government plate, it looks like. Sure looks like it. I don't know. I've never seen anything like that. It's not every day that I see license plates like this sitting around town. I couldn't even tell you what this is. It's it's not it's not any certain state. It's some kind of government plate, but I don't know what it is. It's not a Pennsylvania government plate, so I don't know. It's definitely interesting though. So, but now keep paying attention. What the fuck is that? That's a weird license plate. That's for sure. Now you want to pay attention to these two these two characters right here, okay? And I'll explain it here in a second. This is this is significant, okay? Don't make sure you keep up here. Singing to the prayers of the man upstairs. No West Virginia don't take no kicks. Chew back a chew back a chew back a spit. There's another burrow truck straight down ahead. See them just just poking their, just poking the nose of the truck out. But they're, they're here, we'll have to go down and see what they're up to. It's like they're sitting back, like I can't see them or something. It's like, oh, we can't, we can't go all the way to the stop sign yet. He's right there. Like they're fucking sneaky or something. Like, what are you doing? Just sitting here burning gas, right? It's not like gang stalking Target Pat. No, of course not. Right? They wouldn't be doing that. No, not at all, right? <laughs> he's on his phone, he's got his phone there, he's sitting back, you know. <laughs> I mean, what are the odds? Like, I pass two different burrow trucks, Patton's not very big, I pass two different burrow trucks in two different parts of the town, you know, like, almost like they're just making sure that they are, like, show up right in front of me, you know? It's strange. It's just, what a coinky dink, you know? Just a strange old coinky dink. It's funny, because they can't see in here, but I, I look in the, in the mechanics there on his phone, and that guy keeps staring at my car. He can't see in here, though. Do you see him fucking poke his head out and stare at me? Yeah, see, as I was pulling up to the red light there, even though I didn't mention it out loud and you couldn't see it in the peripheral vision of the of my camera, this is what, uh, you know, having this, this you know, wider awareness kind of helps. <laughs> you, you, you just, you notice everything. And when you notice everything, you can't help but notice these, these little things that is not persecutory delusions, I promise you that. Um, but I was coming up to the red light and I noticed um, these two gentlemen here, Okay, I could clearly see both of them easily like they were they were further back like towards where my car is right here and When I made the curve to come up to the red light That's when they they broke, you know broke character whatever <laughs> broke whatever they were uh, standing behind the vehicle and uh, To go up and this this guy on the left here. He went in because they were standing together talking Okay, but the guy on the left here. He goes and, and stands in front of this car over here so he's out of sight so that he as if he knows that i'm recording okay as if it's like okay here he comes i don't want to get caught on his camera i better go hide in front of this car so he goes and walks over here and then this mechanic here he turns around he goes and turns around he's still got his phone in his hand though right so is he <laughs> you know is he sitting here watching himself be recorded uh, I, I mean that's what i think so he probably knows that I'm going to make this. He probably knows he got recorded. How does... It, like, it's funny. It's just fucking hilarious to me. Because as I'm sitting here and I turn it towards them, they can't see me, right? Because of the tinted windows. And then the light would have just turned green. So the guy over here on the left, is he saw the light turn green. So he's like, okay, he's going to be driving forward now. So he, it's, this is how unaware these people are. 
You know, they think that they're like smart or something. And uh, so he thinks, okay, it's safe to walk back over here now because I'm going to be driving forward, right? So look, it's funny. So the light just turned green, right? Because I just, they, like, <laughs> I, I don't know. I can't explain. You can't fix stupid, but the light turned green. So then that's when this guy thinks it's safe, to, okay, to come back around now because I'm going to be moving. See, I'm moving forward now. I am now moving forward. So that's when he steps out and he stares directly at my car. Right? What are you going to see, buddy? It's tinted windows. You can't fucking see anything. You couldn't see anything to begin with. You can't see anything after that. You know? And I know this because Randy Baker told me whenever we were coming downtown one day, me and Delilah, when the, they were turning the Christmas lights on for town, Randy felt the need to come up and, and he ha he said it specifically out loud. He's like, he's like, oh, I seen you driving, driving the car earlier. He's like, he's like, can't tell who's driving that car with them tinted windows like that, he says. You know what I mean? He gives himself away. <laughs> These people are so, they're so stupid. I'm sorry. But I don't know how else to put it. They, they tell on themselves all the time. Like, look at that. It's like, what? You never seen a yellow car before? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's funny. These fucking people are strange. And there's the Larkins again. They walk. So you see how they were standing outside the car, getting in the car right as I came by before. Okay, a block away. But their car was parked on the sidewalk, okay, facing the opposite direction. And what are the odds that then, then I, all I do is I go around the block, and just in that amount of time, I run into the guy with the dump truck, you know, like, and then the people at the Sunoco there, like, all these weird things, you, you know what I mean? I see it all. And you, you're not going to tell me this is normal behavior that these people are all demonstrating. If, if you were in my position, you would be able to see it just as easy. It's not normal. Everybody, like, acts like they, they know you're coming and they, and they move away right whenever you get there. So these people, I'm supposed to believe that they, they hurried up, got in their car, went one block away just so that they could walk up to the door, okay, of this restaurant just to find out that they were closed right as I came by. Same exact people that were a block away standing around the car. I'm, I'm calling bullshit. I'm calling absolute bullshit. Okay? I, I keep paying attention. Walk up and just to turn around because, oh, 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 look at that. The restaurant is, uh, was closed. Oops. They walked all the way up here to the door like they didn't know when the fucking restaurant was open. I mean, all you have to do is just explain a couple of critical thinking, common sense, you know, <laughs> little details to, like, you know, to, um, to make people question, like, yeah, what are people doing? Why are they doing all this, this just strange behavior? Asking the right questions. John Hoffer, always asking the right questions. I just ask the right questions. I'm well, <laughs> that they can't, they can't really answer. It it's doesn't, it's not logical. It doesn't make much sense, you know? The king of asking questions, John Hoffer, the smartest question asker. He's Alex Trebek, dude. Like when you catch the neighbors, fucking right when you pass by them, the neighbors, they pull out their phone and try to try to take a picture of you from behind when you're not looking. Like that's weird. What is that? All, what is that all about? I'm sure it's a coincidence. Yeah, I'm just crazy. I'm looking at your ear at him. Okay, you gonna pull your yep? Oh, pull your phone out, buddy. Go ahead and pull your phone out. Yep, there he is taking a picture of me. If they want to, like I, they know who I am. I'm the neighbor. Like I live right around the corner. They clearly know who who is in you know was in my car driving. So why do they wait until I'm not looking to take my picture behind my back? Oh no! You got a picture of my car! What are you gonna do with that? You want me to smile for you? I'll smile for you if you want. As soon as I confronted him, he fucking turned around and tucked tail. <laughs> but I caught him and I opened the door and I said, You want me to smile for you? I'll smile for you if you want. And he fucking. He 
drops the phone and fucking runs away like like he's caught. Like, uh, what, like what are you going to do? Run away? You're already caught, buddy. These people are cowards. They're sick in the head and they're fucking cowards. And it needs to end. This is this is it. It's over. It's done. These people are sick. What the fuck, you fucking moron? Well, comment, like, or subscribe. Tell me what you think. Okay? I got plenty where this came from. I've just hit a point where I've had enough. And I'm not... I refuse to just fucking ignore it anymore. I am going to actively, actively expose these motherfuckers and make sure their life is... Make sure they have to work really hard for the fucking taxpayer dollars that they're getting. So, anyway. Like, subscribe, and uh, comment. You could try to play, but you're never gonna beat me. Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy. Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me. Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me. Looking for change, looking for pain. Pulling a mob, pushing a train. I'll never stop, stick to a lane. Pick up the pieces and go rearrange. Uh, I'll be the best above all the rest, put me to the test. Uh, expect nothing less, your check is on chest, what's happening next? Uh. You got the venom, a tangible weapon, no coming in second. This life is a lesson. He got a new engine from pain, it's a blessing. New focus, no guessing, just bought an obsession. I'm in his possession, you got the retention. I leave an impression and take a redemption. Just kill no discretion, your mind is a weapon. 11 11, it's time for progression. Uh. You could try to play, but you're never gonna be me. Look the other way. What I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me People like sheep, move feet, hurt it easy You don't wanna be fast asleep when they see me Better stand tall, ready for a fight, believe me When they try the chains, you can say no, free me So he's been looking for somebody who could save him Instead of searching inside for what they gave him A strong will, strong mind causes mayhem We could change the world, change times, rearrange them Staying on pace, running the race, life is a chase I don't wanna place, I wanna be first Work till it hurts, dehydrated burst Till I'm in a hearse, uh -huh. High ambitions in the right mind can take you so far It's like you lived a few lifetimes Take off from a break off from the weak mind Think it stay soft, you can change lives, you create thoughts Never waste time, you got one shot, you got one life Better pop off, what do you like? Make a dream job No 9-5, no mean boss, just my life and free thoughts You could try to play, but you're never gonna beat me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me Bloody hands break through the chains, go free me People like sheep, move feet, hurt it easy don't wanna be fast asleep on this feet Better stay tall, ready for a fight, believe me And when they try the chains, you can say no, free me It's all like that, bitches I thought I heard somebody getting ready to say something It's all like that, bitches In the fucking whole motherfucking world Stop Fuck these balls Alright, okay, alright, let's do this Let's fuck it. Fuck me in the ass. Fuck me harder. Fuck me harder. Fuck me in the ass. But what I think you really want to do is fuck Nerf Gorilla right in his asshole. But whatever you do, just remember, be good or be good at it. Peace out.